Cause I got the flames. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, but I was down and out like last week. Tell me where have you been? Simply Saray and I'm back at again with another video. Ow. So I wanted to make a video talking to you guys about the top 10 things that you should know before you go to college. Um, these are just some tips that I wanted to share with incoming freshmen, and not just incoming freshmen um, going into college, but you know, you got seniors and juniors and sophomore and freshmen in high school that are curious about college and college life and want to know what it's like. So I thought, why not talk about some of the main things that you should know before you step foot on any college campus. A lot of these are just something, some things that I can relate to um, and some things that I've just noticed about other people. So I've kind of just taken those and made a little list of 10 things that I feel are major. Let me know if you guys like this video and I will make a part two, part three, whatever you guys need, I'm here for. I've been talking about my channel is kind of transitioning into more of a college oriented, what it's like on campus type channel because you know, I know that it's helpful for a lot of people who especially are looking at Delaware State as a school. You wanna know what it's like, what are the do's and don'ts, all of that. So I'm here for y'all and I'ma let y'all know what's tea and what's going on. Number one is orientation slash class picking go to your orientation whatever school that you decide to go to and they have orientation or new student day don't skip it don't think like oh I don't have to go I'll be fine no I recommend that you go because not only do you get a feel of the school you get to socialize with people and you know get to make some friends before you get on campus usually around that time you pick your classes as well so you not going to orientation can definitely mean you're being stuck with 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. late classes and you don't want that. I know for Delaware State University, we have four different orientations. I forgot what my orientation was, but we had four different ones. I attended the first one. And I attended the first one because I wanted to make sure that my courses were fine. This semester I have no 8 a.m.s. Next semester I have no 8 a.m.s. So, you know, uh, go to orientation. It's a good time to socialize, but also your classes I'm telling you, you may think, oh, it's nothing, it's 8 a.m. You're not gonna wanna do that every day, every other day. So I recommend you go to whatever orientation is the earliest and the first one. Number two, have a plan when you come to college. You know, there are people who will tell you, oh, you're a freshman, you have time, you don't have to come in with the decided major or decided minor or have kind of a plan of what you wanna do in the future, it's okay. And I'm here to tell you that you do not have time. Time in college is an illusion. There's no such thing as you have time. You don't. You should come on, a, on your college campus with an idea of what you want to do. And if you don't like it, okay, switch a major. Kind of, you know, feel yourself out where you want to be. But do not come to a campus undecided with no major, no minor, and no idea of what route you want to take. You need to have something. I know here on campus, a lot of freshmen change their major because they're not really sure if they wanted to do what they originally thought they did. And that is fine because at least you started classes, you kind of have an idea. But coming just with nothing and no idea, that's not a good idea. Um, and it can also leave you behind because let's say junior, senior year, you still don't know what you want to do. <laughs> now what you gonna do? Now what you gonna do? I don't think that's a good idea, so don't do it. Number three, Remember that you are moving into a dorm, not a luxury size apartment. You do not have to pack all your clothes and you don't have to pack all your room, even though you think you do, like that's what I did. But I'm telling y'all, when it's time to pack up all of this stuff and go, it's gonna be hell because all of this stuff is around here. You are in a space that's like a box. And not only that, you share that box with another person. So really you got half a box. And now you got all of this stuff that you gotta keep together it's just gonna be a mess. Not only is your room susceptible to being messy all the time, RAs are gonna do room checks and be like, oh, that's that's ridiculous. And you could get a fine, you can get written up. Number four is socialize. Prior to me coming to campus, I made a Delaware State University class of 2021 Twitter page, which you can follow right here. 
My reasoning for that was because I wanted to reach out to people in my class. I wanted to reach out to people that I was gonna, you know, end up taking classes with, people with similar majors as mine. I wanted to connect with the family that I was coming in with and the family that hopefully I'll be leaving with. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get to know everybody. And plus, I didn't wanna come on campus by myself. All of my friends from high school went all over the state to go to different colleges. I'm the only one from my little squad that went to Delaware State. So I wanted to have a little squad, a little, you know, group of girls, group of guys, whatever, that I could chill with and talk to and we could be homies on campus so I don't feel as lonely since I'm separated from my family and friends. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Number five is get involved. Go around campus, join clubs, join orgs, and just explore. If you're gonna do a lot of clubs, if you're gonna do a lot of orgs, if you're gonna do sorority, frat, whatever you're gonna do, just make sure that you have the time and the commitment and the passion for what you're doing. Because if you're just signing up so it can look good for your you know, future career opportunities or for whatever, that's not really good. Do get involved, but also make sure it's within reason and within something that can meet your time schedule so you're not all over the place and overwhelmed. Number six, go to class. I cannot stress this enough. Look, I know that people may say, you know, oh, you don't have to go to class, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to them. I don't know about other colleges, but I know at Delaware State University, attendance is worth 10% of your grade. And you may think that's not that much. You know, you got other things that make up, you know, the other 90%, fine. But if you got a C or a D in a class, minus the fact that you haven't, and all, plus the fact that you haven't been to that class, like in a while, you're gonna fail or you're gonna pass, but borderline pass with a D. And a D may be like, oh, you passed the course, but your GPA now looks like garbage because of it. Don't not go to class. I don't care if you do have an 8 a.m. Get up, get dressed, at, set your alarm clock for like six o'clock, get up, get dressed, be at Conrad to get some breakfast by seven, be at class by eight, boom. That's what you gotta do. Like, don't stay in bed, don't sleep, don't think, oh, I can, no. Because as soon as you think, oh, I can miss this class, it'll start to pile up, then you don't feel like going at all. Go to class. Freshman, little freshman, go to class. Y'all don't got time to be sitting there slacking. I right? Cool. Next, number seven. And a lot of people are gonna be like, girl, whatever, but look. Number seven, don't smoke. Don't drink. Don't do it. If your school is a dry campus, which I'm pretty sure every college campus is, abide by that especially if you're underage under the age of 21 you shouldn't be drinking you shouldn't be smoking you shouldn't be doing those types of things and i know that you're on a college campus and that's something that's like the norm for people to do on the weekends to get turned and turn up but just don't do it because you know what you may think that you cool you may think that you slick and that one time that you think that you slick is the same time that you'll end up in judicial affairs and now you got to go home and explain to your parents why they just wasted all that tuition money for you to go to school and get drunk and now you gotta come home. Like that's not a good circumstance. People think, oh it's fine, you know, everybody does it. Don't, don't do it just because everybody else is doing it. Don't sit there and put yourself in a position where you can get in trouble, where you know certain opportunities in your future can be jeopardized because you did something when you were really young. You don't wanna, you don't wanna mess up anything like that. You don't wanna be known as the shorty that, you know, threw up all over the place or the shorty that you know was so drunk that she was passed out on the sidewalk that's not cute like nobody wants to be known as sidewalk shorty that brings me to my next fact number eight don't flex don't try to come up on campus and be who you are be yourself do not transform into this completely different person just because you're on a college campus and you don't know nobody they don't know you so you got to present yourself as this bomb popping person that everybody has to like and admire people will see right through that people right will see right through the little persona that you try to put on or the little mask that you try to put on it's not cool and you know it'll quickly go downhill and now you don't have nobody that want to rock with you you don't want to be known as the phony for person that is like a weirdo and don't come on campus flexing like oh I got all this money I got this Gucci I got this block we all broke college students all of us are broke none of us have money none of us has money okay 
Our parents may transfer a little bit of money in our bank account. Some of us got jobs, but overall, we all broke. Everybody's over here eating ramen noodles. Don't get it twisted. Don't act like you cute. Because I saw you the other day struggling to find 50 cents to get some soda. College work is not hard. Like, don't get, I mean, I guess that depends on your major. Like, if you're a chemistry major or like nursing majors or like, I feel like medical majors are like in tech. Yeah, like science majors, technology majors, like that. It may be different. I'm speaking from a mass comm point of view. The work is not hard. The work is not. Well, it's challenging, but it's not so challenging to the fact that you can't do it. As long as you make sure that you have a schedule, as long as you make sure that you're getting your work done, you're asking questions, you're writing down notes, you have like a little study team or a little study group and you're doing a couple hours of studying every night, you should be good. You should be passing tests, getting a 4.0 or 3.5 and above should not be hard for you your freshman year, especially for MassCom. And if you are having trouble, our li I don't know about other campuses, but our library, has so many resources that can help you um, when it comes to like math or writing papers or whatever. You can talk to professors, you can talk to upperclassmen, you can talk to people in your class, have like a little study group, you know, stuff like that. And lastly, number 10, check your email. Check your email every single day, every single hour. Always keep up on your email. Not only are mad job opportunities out there, it can be a lot of special announcements. It can be a lot of notifications or announcements about events that be volunteers or whatever. And that's a way for you to get service hours. You do not want to not be on top of your email. I know in high school a lot of the time I didn't check my email all the time unless it was to email an assignment to a teacher or to look at some deals they may have on forever21.com but in college I check my email on a regular basis because you never know. You could get a notification saying that class is canceled shorty. Class is canceled. That's the best email I think I can get. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I need a nap. <laughs> yes. You need to check your email on a daily basis. You never know what is important and what could make just check your email but that's all the time i have for today everyone this is just a part one there are so many other things that i could give tips for for freshmen and incoming students and just high school students in general looking to go to college so if you like this video give it a thumbs up share subscribe like comment all of that and let me know if you want a part two because i will definitely make one thanks for watching everybody until next time bye